We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago Cubs. It's Interleague Baseball on MLB Network. Jake Arrieta, a Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. What do you have for us on him, H? Matt, I like this guy. He is a really good pitcher. An ERA just a little over three last season. He's usually pretty tough on the opponent. He's going to keep you in the game and give that manager some opportunities late in the game to get a W. I like what this guy brings, and maybe he'll bring it today. Here's Carlos Santana now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And we are underway from Wrigley as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. 67 degrees our game time temperature. Santana waiting on a 1 1. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Swing and a liner. And that will be a base hit here for Santana. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just did not care. If you hit the ball hard, I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. And as the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. His history with Jake Arrieta, he's gone two for five. Oh. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops, ball one. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Well, Matt, I mean, to me, Washington's thought about as a pitcher's umpire. I mean, it's hard for me as a hitter to hit a ball down your knees. He loves to call the low zone, maybe even below the hollow of the knee. That's tough to hit. Pitchers love it, though. Lifted the other way out to left center. Schwarber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice third. about trying to move up. Now a moment here for the Indians starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye Dan. Well one of their hotter hitters has been Carlos Santana. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. So here's Francisco Lindor now first chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. He's set and the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Schwarber. Two gone. Into the box now, Michael Brantley. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bryant onto the grass. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Indians leave one. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Kluber gets the starting assignment for the tribe in this one. What's your take on him, H? 
Matt, I like this guy. He is a really good pitcher. An ERA just a little over three last season. He's usually pretty tough on the opponent. He's going to keep you in the game and give that manager some opportunities late in the game to get a W. I like what this guy brings, and maybe he'll bring it today. Striding into the box, Kyle Schwarber. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That tough sinker on the inside corner. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball. One and two. Sent on the ground out to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. Well, this is the recipe they want. Their pitcher comes out, throws a scoreless top of the first, and then you get a leadoff single to start the bottom of the inning. Good start. Here's Chris Bryant now. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And this is fouled back and out of play. A runner at first with no outs here. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Ready with another 0 2. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. This is a really good at bat. This is the kind of you go back to the dugout, regardless of the outcome, they go, great AB, man, great AB. Ready now with the payoff pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Oh, and he can't reel it in out there. Schwarber is on his way home. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's set. Here it comes. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Here we are in the first inning. We're watching adjustments be made after giving up that extra base hit. Now that's better location. He's going to have a better day if he does that. Oh, and one. Here it comes. Squared that one up just a little late. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit out towards second. And a rather easy first out. 
And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs starting lineup. Who stands out to you Danny. Well you know the key for this ball club has been Jason Hayward. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes so goes the team. You stop him you've got a chance to win. You don't you're probably going to lose. Here's Ben Zobrist now. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's just one for 13. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And looked like the sinker here, but a good job of knocking this thing down. From the stretch. And that misses two and two. All right, no more hope, and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. A man at third with one away. Chopped weakly to the left. Ramirez charging in on it, and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Coming to the plate now, Addison Russell looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Two out, nobody on. Slider and he can't pull the trigger, two strikes. You hate facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, and now you go down 0-2, you have no idea what he's gonna throw here. The at-bat's almost over. Kluber's ready, looking for the strikeout here on 0 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. 1 and 2, here it comes. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in the switch hitter, Leading Jose Ramirez. He'll lead it off against Jake Jose Arrieta. Ramirez. Into the windup and the pitch. Slider right over the middle taken for a strike. Oh that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch and he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Another one two delivery. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well one thing about him he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Ready on two balls and two strikes here it comes. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Here's another 2 2. And another foul ball. Wait. 
tapper up the line. But that one rolls foul. Two and two count. Here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Let's take Having a look at the Cubbies defensively brought right to you by Majestic. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. First delivery to him on the way. Looks at a sinker over the inside part of the plate. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. One out, nobody on. Slider stayed too low, ball two. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Just hung in there on that one. The next three two. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And Hayward will put this one away for out number two. Batting seven. Catcher. Jan Gomes. Stepping in. Jan Gomes. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 1-0 now to Gomes. A high fastball is in there. Now that's not fair. You're supposed to be throwing sinkers, and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Down in order go the tribe. They trail things here two to nothing. Here's Jason Hayward now. He'll start Leading things out here goal. against Corey Kluber. Right fielder, Jason Hayward. Sends that one out of play for strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Other than a home run, there aren't a whole lot of better ways to start an inning than a triple. Pretty good chance of at least getting one run in this inning now. Here's 
There's the young catcher Wilson Contreras as Kluber's able to get ahead of him here with strike one. The 0 1 on its way. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. This is where getting ahead in the count really pays off for you. Now you can get him to chase a pitch, maybe get a ground ball, double play, or a strikeout. Either way, it's going to help your cause. Now the 0 2 pitch. This is line to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, this one looked like he was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. In now is John Jay. As he'll take a look at ball one. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Nope. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and 0 now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. This is in the air to left. Brantley is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Jake Arrieta. He, of course, no slouch at the plate as he, in fact, took home the Silver Slugger Award for National League pitchers a season ago. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. A dive, but it's off his glove. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Cubbies are in front, three to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Naquin. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Tough pitch to lay off. The slider stays high for ball one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. Oh, he's got that beautiful 12 to 6 curveball, doesn't he? It's part of what makes him as good as he is, and, and he has a lot of confidence in it. He'll even throw it behind an account at times. Grounded up the first baseline. And Rizzo won't get to this one. It's a fair ball. Well, this is what you want from the guy hitting in front of the pitcher. You lead off the inning with the base hit. Now it sets up the inning. Do you bunt him over? Do you hit and run? Do you allow him to steal? A lot of things can happen now. Standing in now, Corey Kluber. 
as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. Well I like that right there pulling the bat back you still got a bunt a strike that's the one trap that hit bunters fall into they think they got to bunt anything it's not a squeeze bunt you still have to bunt a strike. And he pulls back the bunt attempt 2 and 0. Oh. Well here's one of those dreaded situations It's 2 0 oh to American League pitcher. You have to make him swing the bat. He doesn't get many opportunities to swing and right now he's not getting much opportunity either. Two and zero oh pitch on the way, and no take on two zero. Oh. He's still squaring, and he gets it down, and he's retired here, one away. Now batting, the first baseman, Carlos. Stepping Santana. in and ready for another shot, Carlos Santana, one for one after a single his first time up. From the stretch. And a neck high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. The 1 0 delivery. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. <clears throat> he's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Pitch is a cold strike. The th is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. One out and a runner on third. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's another one two. And that one skips in front of the plate. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. He's set. Here's the two two. He spoils another one and will do it again. Another two two offering. Again, he sends it out of play. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Jay giving chase. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Nothing doing for the Indians there. They trail in this one, three nothing. in for his second at bat Kyle Schwarber he'll get us going in the home half of inning number three in there at the knees as he offers a strike to the leadoff man nothing in one well there's a strike looking but you know what they've been so patient they're leading in this game I think because of their discipline at the plate they're not swinging at balls out of the zone Sinker and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Well, he finds himself down 0 2, but you know what? He looked at the first two pitches, but they're different pitches, both down. Good pitchers pitches. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0 2 home. And this will be chopped foul here at home plate. Just gets a piece of it. Still 0 and 2. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Schwarber 
retired and there's one away. Now batting. Third baseman. Trying to pick things Bryant. up where he left off. Bryant. Chris Bryant. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. A one pitch on its way. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Outside two and one. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? No a little too much hook on it there. It's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's a fair ball heading out toward the 353 sign on the Ivy. Digging hard. He's headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. He's got to feel good about himself. A multi hit game. He knows he's been struggling. We know he's been struggling. Maybe this is the start of good things to come. In now, Anthony Rizzo. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in to score. Wow, that was a great job to rock him of an RBI single. Showed some great athleticism, and it winds up being an RBI ground out instead. Stepping in now, Ben Zobrist. As he lifts it in the air to right field, Chisenhall has a beat on it, and that's the third out. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. On now to the top of inning number four. Cubs lead it four to nothing. Ready for another chance? Jason Kipnis. Cleveland. 0 for 1 Second for him here in this one. Jason Kipnis. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Schwarber will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out. Now batting. Jordan. Digging in to try it again. Francisco, Francisco Lindor. Lindor. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Curveball looked at here for strike one. No runs, two hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. 
I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, he loses them there, the but that's just the first walk he's given up, along Michael with a couple of hits, Bramley. so his command has been pretty solid so far. Here's Michael Brantley. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. And there he goes towards second. Pitch misses low. In time as he just gets the tag down. Well, he showed a lot of patience to work out that walk, but it got erased pretty quickly. Always hate to give outs away on the base pass, especially when you've gotten on base for free. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Oh. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. The 2 0 on the way. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Well, he's clearly not getting anything to hit right here, but I'm telling you what, 3 and 0, I trust him so much, I'm giving him the green light. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Now here's the pitch and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters but he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Striding in once again Jose Ramirez and we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk always considered a big no no of course. First delivery to him on the way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Hey, two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Now a throw over to first. Runner back safely. No runs, two hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And that one right down Main Street. Well, I like that, taking that strike right there. Look, he's already walked a couple guys early. He's not throwing the ball consistently in the zone. You have to be patient and make him work. One and one, here it is. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. And the pitch on two and one. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Oh, man. He just tied him up in knots right there. A runner on first with two away. Here's a look over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. All even at two and two. Here it is. Slice down the left side, but foul. 
Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another one sent foul. Two and two count. Here it comes. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. All right. Three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving. So we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Rounded down the third baseline. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Whoa, back-to-back -back sliders. Now, the first one was almost like a practice pitch. He saw the spin. The second one, he recognized and got the base hit. Settling in now, Lonnie Chisenhall. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch on its way. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Addison Russell. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Addison. Russell. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Too low, 1 0. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. That is the fourth foul ball of this AB right here. He's seeing a lot of pitches. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Here's the pitch on two and two. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. All right, builder number 22. Here's Jason Hayward now. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now a swing by Hayward but he got out in front a little too much as this will hook into the seats a foul ball than right. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fouled back. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. 
That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Now another one, two. And this is fouled straight back. Again, a one, two. Lays off two and two now. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. Set to deal on two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. That is the sixth foul ball in this at bat. Now, to those who like to see a lot of pitches, he's doing it for you. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Oh man that's a scary one for an infielder. I'm sure he would have loved to make that play but I think he's still got to be happy just to have all of his teeth. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras as Kluber's able to get ahead of him here with strike one hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right hander starts to loosen up. Throw over to first a dive but he's back. And another throw over and the runner back safely. Once more a throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. Runner at first here, one man out. Hey. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. Here's a swing, and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Brantley comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Center fielder. Digging in. John Jay. He flew out in his last at bat. Kluber pauses. Here's the first pitch. First pitch is a sinker too low. One and oh. The one and oh delivery a little bouncer that rolls foul for strike one. He's set now the pitch fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Hit back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. This is a pesky type of hitter. Pitchers hate the face. He's going to put the ball in play, not known for power, but if you put it in the zone, he's probably going to make contact. Right there, another example of that. Into the box now, Jake Arrieta, as Kluber's able to get ahead of him here with strike one. Two men are on with two men out. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Obviously he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Ready on 0 and 2. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. Up strand a couple, but they hold a 4 to nothing lead.
Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Leading off for, for one for him here catcher. in this one. Jan Gomes. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Well, there's a first pitch strike. You know, only 50% of the pitches he's throwing first pitch this game have been for a strike. So I'm surprised that he's having as much success so far as he is. Here's the 0 1. Hey. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Zobris has it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter, center fielder, Tyler. Naquin. At the plate, Tyler Naquin, a base hit in his first trip. Swing hard liner to left center. And that's in for a base hit, his second in his many trips to the plate. You talk about a free swinger. First pitch, and he hits a ball that's now down that and away Petra. and gets a base hit. Corey Man, that's not Luther. what I'm looking for, first pitch, but I got to tip my cap to him. He executed it. Standing in now, Corey Kluber. Now a bunt attempt here to second for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning but no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Cubs lead this one four to nothing. Carlos Frias is going to take over now, here in inning number in. five so it'll be a number bullpen seven, game seven. from here on out. Carlos Frias. Ready once again. Kyle Schwarber. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Kyle Schwarber. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Now batting. Here's Chris Bryant now. Bats here with a double and a triple on his line in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. And that one stayed too low apparently. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. And there's a swing and a miss, 2-1 and one now. Hitters count now, here's the 2-1. and one. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low, it's ball three. Three and one, this guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count that gets him excited. Ball four. First baseman number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. First pitch on its way. 
Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The 1 0 delivery. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Well, now we've seen the combination of the two seamer and the cutter. That is a lethal combination because now he's taken away the ability of the hitter to sit on one direction of the pitch. Here's the 2 1. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold. The throw. Ball's there and he is out. Good throw. A lot of times if a guy is going it's going to be on the first couple of pitches but he waited it out that time didn't matter though a good catch and throw and they nabbed him at second. A two and two count here's the pitch right side and right into the shift fielded cleanly throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Nothing happened there for the Cubbies, but they're in front, four to nothing. Here's Carlos Santana now, and Dan he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey now. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. I'll tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Santana waiting on a 1 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hayward going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And the tribe will get a man to second base on the leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I Jason thought it was out of here. Goodness. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Digging in to try it again. Jason Kipnis. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And now the Cubs bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. No one out with a runner at second. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready with the one and two. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Line towards center field. Catch made by Jay. Here comes the runner from third. 
The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-1 game. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Striding in once again, Francisco Lindor. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. This ball will be chopped foul. And that misses one and one. One and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And now pitch on the way. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Lindor is retired two now down now. Left fielder. Michael Here's Michael Brantley. Brantley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's the first pitch to him. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he falls behind now 2 and 0. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Set to deliver on 3 0. And he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four pitch walk here. It was obvious when the count ran the 2 and 0 that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch on its way. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. A lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning, but with the middle of the order of the plate here, I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose. Just has to be the right pitch to hack at. The 1 0 delivery. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha Cha. Sent on the ground out to second. Zobrist is able to get there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. It's the Cubs four and the Indians one. Here's Ben Zobrist now. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On the ground to the right side. Gloved by Santana. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Shortstop. Addison. Russell. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Addison Russell. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Some stirring now in the Cleveland bullpen. They'll get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing. Here's a two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam in with that running action on that two-seam fastball. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Around first, he's digging for second. Around second, he's on his way to third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Well, he tried to double up with him on fastball. Showed him one. He got the next one. He measured the first one and timed the second one for the base hit.
In now, Jason Hayward as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Here's the 1 0. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 0. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Popped up. Lindor on the move. Throw not in time and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. Wilson. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Stepping in now, Wilson Contreras. Pitch out, nothing doing. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Runners on first with one down. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Just got a piece up the line. He's got it. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Now batting, center fielder, Sean. In now is John Jay. Jay. He's one for two in the ball game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. That's wide 2 and 0. Oh. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Two and zero oh count and the pitch takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He's set and the two one pitch. Now a ball foul down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Chicago. Seventh inning. Welcome back here to the historic, friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Getting set for the seventh now with the Cubs out in front. And before the inning gets underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. And that's in there for strike one. This has been an interesting game to watch. I mean, he's less than 60% of the time he's throwing that first pitch for strikes. So he's been having to throw stress pitches almost to every hitter. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate, and he's behind now 0-2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Gloved by Russell, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start now inning number seven. 
Catcher. Jan Digging in once Gomes. again, Jan Gomes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a liner. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Now batting, the center fielder, Tyler Naquin. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit out towards second. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Three for three on the night. He must be seeing the ball well under the lights. That single right there just kind of lets me think he's locked Carlos in pretty good. Three Edwin Encarnacion will look for some two-out magic here as he'll Number pinch hit with two gone and a runner Edwin at first. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Looked like he was trying to go the opposite way on that pitch. Good job of laying off that check swing, seeing it wasn't something he wanted to really drive the other way. Here's one fouled off to the right as the count evens at one and one. His history with Jake Arrieta, two for ten. The 1 1 pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Well, now it's a 1 2 count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. One left for the tribe. For the They're down here five to one. Your Zach McAllister plate. gets the call from the pen Cleveland. to take over on the mound Number and start the home seventh. Zach McAllister. Tommy Lestella is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Action going on now in the Indians' bullpen as they have a left-hander up and getting loose. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and there's ball one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch on two and one. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And this is fouled back and out of play. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Kyle Schwarber is working on a one for three thus far. And that misses inside one and oh. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box.
One and two. Here it comes. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. I like that combination right there. Show them the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. Got him to go down swinging there. Kyle Schwarber takes the hat trick with his third strikeout of the night. Ready for another chance. Chris Bryant. His prior history versus this arm, one for three. He's taken him deep once. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. Now the pitch. Mm, chased out of the zone there and he's down two strikes. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. You can throw him anything you want. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 to one ball game. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're up five to one. Brian Dunzing has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Brian Dunzing. Carlos Santana will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right Santana. side of the plate here. Fouled off into the seats behind first. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. A pause, and the 0-2. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. And the pitch. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Jay on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Second baseman number 22. Jason and is the second baseman Kipnis. Jason Kipnis. 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander has begun to get loose. First delivery to him on the way. There's a change up over the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Oh and one here it comes. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now down 0 and two. On its way the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and count 0-2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. So here's Francisco Lindor now. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. First pitch on its way. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Lifetime versus this pitcher. A three-for-five line to show for those meetings. He also has one home run. I'm set with the 0 and 1. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. He 
Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Pretty. Ready once again, Anthony Rizzo. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Anthony Rizzo. First offering on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And the pitch takes a fastball on the inside corner. We are watching him reach back and just challenge it with the fastball. Now we got a one-two count, and that's three fastballs in a row. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Yeah, third strikeout of the game for him. And this one, he was way off balance and out in front of that curveball. He's had no answer for the pitching he's faced in this one. And I'm not sure he's too happy with himself right now. Now, here's the pitch. Ben Zobrist. Comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. The high fastball is in there. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time at first for route number two. Digging in and looking for more, Addison, Addison Russell. Russell. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the pitch. 92 splits the plate and it's strike one. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball. It's moving all over the place. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Here it comes. And he misses two and one. Hey, you can't let that bother him right there. This might be a good time for the catcher to have a little conversation. Just tell him, next pitch. Don't worry about that one. And he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Solo shot here to left, and it's now a six to one ball game. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rear view mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason to be even more mad. Here's Jason Hayward now. As he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounded foul off to the right side. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. To two Good balls team. and two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. Ramirez is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Cubs tack on another courtesy of this solo home. 
Welcome back to MLB Network. Great to have you with us from Chicago as the ninth inning is set to get underway. Here's Michael Brantley. Do up for the four, Cleveland. five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get Michael something going. Brantley. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Russell ranging to his right. Throw won't get him. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Well, I can see what he was thinking. Thought he had a chance to make a play at first, but then he forced the throw, and an error is the result. They got to deal with the runner on second now. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. High pop up. Under it is Rizzo. One away. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he right saw that curveball hanging in the zone. Money. But maybe he Here's tried to ball. do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in as he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's 1 0. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Tough slider down low for a strike. One out and a runner on second base. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to 2 and 1. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Rip down the first base line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. To first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now batting. Catcher. So digging Jan in now, Gomes. Jan Gomes. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. And tonight's comes to a conclusion, 6-1 to one the final. Corey Kluber was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.